So here I am, guys. I'm outside uh, the garage. This is the garage of our current Jeet, and we're going to transform this into a new Jeet. And today's really the first day I'm going to start working. I've spent about a day ordering stuff on the internet um, and basically passing the baby from one person to the other as we Googled and searched and found the best deals and things like that. And then did all that, took about a day to get it all ordered. And then of course, sat back, waited a couple of weeks for it all to come. We've had lots of deliveries. We've got most of the materials that we need for the first fix. Uh, most of the stuff that we got, we managed to get a 10% discount as well, which was great and helped the, uh, the coffers, helped the budget because uh, material and everything else is now starting to get really, really expensive. So um, hopefully we've ordered most of the, the, the sort of first fix stuff. There's a few bits and pieces that we haven't ordered because they weren't in stock. So we're going to keep an eye on that and order them. Um, but I'm here. It's the first day. I'm super excited. The weather is gorgeous, lovely blue skies. Uh, it probably won't last. We normally get a good week or two of nice blue skies and gorgeous weather in February, and then it kind of goes back downhill before it gets nicer for the summer. But what I'm going to try and do today is fix the door in here. So we've got a big glass sliding door, and it's going to go in this hole here. Uh, and uh, my father-in-law is over from the UK, so hopefully he can give me a hand. It's quite heavy and uh, hopefully while he's here, I'm going to sort of make use of him. I'll give you a quick tour of the, uh, well, the garage, the empty space that we've got at the moment and, uh, and then we'll crack on. So here we are. Uh, we've obviously got an empty space here. As you can see, uh, we still haven't done the faucet teak. That's going to happen in a couple of weeks. So we've got some of the uh, pipe work and things like that still here. Uh, but we've got a nice empty space and I've emptied most of the stuff that wasn't here. So everything that's left here now is things that we need, material, insulation. Those are the big glass doors that we're hopefully going to sort of fit today. Uh, we got an old kitchen uh, from some friends of mine and we're going to hopefully try and reuse that. Uh, then we've got the stairs, the ladders and I say ladders, stairs. And then we've got this brilliant space upstairs, which is going to be the bedroom and the bathroom. Velux is, we're going to put one big Velux in here. We're going to come around, we're going to one put Velux in here, and we're going to have a little one there in the stairwell. And then on the other side, that's our shower that's been delivered. Lots of Velux bits and pieces. And then obviously the bathroom is going to be that side with that window. So super excited. Let's go back downstairs. And hopefully there's all of the insulation or some of the insulation, some of the rest of it's still coming. But today, as I said, we're going to try and put together, put in this door, but let's get going. Well, that's just typical, isn't it? Uh, the first thing I notice on the instructions is some silicon and I didn't have any silicon. So I can't do anything more until I get silicon. So I'm off to Brico to go and get some silicon so I can start the job. I should have opened up the packet, got the instructions and checked I had everything before I started. Rookie error, I always do it. So I've got my silicon and uh, some wood that I needed as well while I was here. So let's get back and uh, hopefully start fixing this door. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm back from uh, Brico and I've got my silicon and everything I need. So now let's get cracking on and building this frame. And uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Okay, so I've got the frame built and I've put it in the hole, as you can see. So here's the frame. Now, funnily enough, I thought I was going to have to knock off or cut some of this crepey back in order for the frame to fit. But it actually is fitting perfectly with, I mean, there is a bit of a gap in certain areas, but I'll have to infill them. So it works perfectly. So. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark where the sort of cement is in between the bricks because that's where I'm going to get the best hold because I'm going to use basically some screws and some uh, raw plugs. So I'm going to drill through there into the, the sort of cement, put my raw plug in there and that will give me some good fixings on the side. Uh, same on the top. And same on the bottom so that the frame is absolutely solid and uh, I'm going to screw through the metal first then mark on the concrete and then use my big drill uh, to actually kind of drill through the uh, for the concrete but we're getting there it's looking good quite difficult because the uh, all the instructions are in French so it's testing my uh, my ability to use uh, Google Translate <laughs> now drilled all the holes to fix the frame and uh, the next thing to do is I've got some uh, go over there some sort of insulation tape that I'm going to put around the edge I'm actually going to fix it to the side of the uh, of the frame so that when I put it in at least there's a little bit more kind of uh, I suppose insulation between there but I will probably going to have to kind of infill some of the gaps that are around there because I think that's not going to fill it completely but I think I've got enough fixings so hopefully that should be okay and the next thing to do is uh, get it all screwed together so that's it for today I've managed to get the frame in but I haven't got the doors in place but it's rock solid and uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. And it's fitted like a dream. So uh, that's perfect. Hopefully try and get the doors on tomorrow now. So here we are, a new day. Uh, the weather is nice again, but hopefully we're gonna try and get the glass doors into this frame and hopefully get it all installed and working. So let's get going. So there we are, we've managed to get the doors in and um, they're looking really good. It was a right faff to understand the kind of the door handles and things like that. Even actually to which way to get the door up. In the end, we looked at where the rails were and kind of realized, well, that's the bottom. And, and we know we'll, which way then it goes up. I mean, the labels that they had on here were the wrong way around. So we tried to use the writing as a, as a guide, that wasn't right. Uh, the instructions were absolute rubbish. Um, 
so luckily we've managed to just kind of take a practical approach to it and uh, and we've got there eventually and they're looking really really good i'm really happy with them they slide nicely with a lock nicely now and uh, it gives us a really good opening uh, for people to kind of just sit out and look out into the garden so what i'm going to do now because uh, it's installed as as best it can be but just on the edge around the outside i'm just going to silicon it um just to make sure it's kind of completely sealed i did put the insulation foam around and that's given a really good seal but it'll just add that extra final touch on the outside it doesn't really need it on the inside so i'm not going to worry about that and uh, and then yeah then the doors are done so uh really really happy with that they look great i'm glad that's done so there we are that's the sliding doors installed really happy with that thank you for watching this week's video uh, next week i'm going to be showing you how to install a velux window so stay tuned for that and i'll see you next time cheers guys bye